Okay, so we have some vampires and some werewolves, the two most wanted creatures of the night that lurk in the darkness and full moonlight. They both are the wanted creatures. In a different way, the werewolf is an animal loose in the city, and while the vampire is the most wanted. Although he looks like a human, although he's not. Okay, first move on to werewolves, and let's see what werewolves bring to the fight. They're courageous, stronger than ten lions, faster than gazelles. They can jump high, they can climb. They are the most formidable land predator. They can take on a mammoth and take it down really easily. They don't need to work in packs. Uh, I comment that they don't need to. They're really big and they're really strong. You know what I mean, do you not? In Animal Kingdom, size and strength from looks is the, is the only thing needed by animals. The werewolf is good in both. But does a vampire fear his size and strength? No, for he has no feelings. The werewolf is still the most powerful mythical creature. Or is he? The werewolf is controlled by a supernatural curse that brings his wolf to life in every side of the full moon. His creature is half wolf and half uh, man. There is a song called Wolf and Man. That's correctly a steam song. Okay now folks, let us move on to vampires and let's see what they bring to f bring into the fight. Vampires have no feelings. That means they're neither courageous, neither pussy cats, neither scared. They're very powerful creatures. They're very formidable. They're faster than light, stronger than 99 bears. They can regenerate, they can fly, they can walk on walls, they can control every dark animal and weather, they can turn into every dark animal and weather, demons, they can even control demons as well. The vampires are known as the Prince of Darkness, the Lord of the Underworld, and Father of the Wolf. All because they can do everything the wolf can. In fact, they can do it better and they can do much more. Okay, so here goes the showdown. Do not comment about anyone winning because it's a correct and accurate showdown. There is a logical explanation for me hating werewolves. The reason is this, we have done nothing to their kind, though still, they entered our house and took me away. They killed me, almost killed me. Hmm? I just can't see him. There you are. Okay, folks, here is your winner, the vampire. Now, I know you all don't agree to this fact, but I know why you choose the werewolf, because he looks big and strong. Is that it? The vampire, you never look at him. Just because he looks human doesn't make him a human. Here's a message for all of you. Looks can be deceiving. Nowadays, everyone has forgot that except me. I 
Look at both of these beasts. I never ignore one and move on to the other. I never do that. But you, you guys always choose the werewolf because he looks big and strong, so he must be. And the vampire looks human, so he must be. Although that's fake, the vampire has more advantages, had more advantages than the werewolf. If you look at this clip again. Though anyway, thank you for watching. Do subscribe, rate, and comment if there were rating and commenting on my video.